hello everyone today i am going to make a design for one of my order here so in this video i am going to use this three vector files you can find similar images on this kind of website like this is dlpng.com this have a lot of lot of this kind of images you can download and then there is another one called kisscc0.com this website is also good for png images so we are just taking their png images to use in our design but we will not use as they are we will modify them and use as we need them so for this design here first of all i need to make a shape here because i am planning to make a design that will be circular then this skull and this vectors will be inside them and that will be my design so i am just taking a brush here just a, a stroke okay now if i select this one and i can use simply use some effect here like this zigzag effect so okay just effect go to dissolve and transform and then go to zigzag okay now i need to make some adjustment here like this maybe some more corners here and smooth so this will be my stroke here and it has some fills here so it is looking like this but i don't need any fill here so it will work for me okay maybe just a bit more corners here not that much yeah this will work for me okay now if i just select this one expand appearance because whenever we are putting any kind of effect we need to expand the appearance from here okay so i'm going to just place them like this yes this will work for me now if i select them all and just make it like this i am just making a pattern brush here so it will it is looking like this now so i need to use my shape builder tool here shift m okay if i just press alt and remove some of these areas it will be it will look like this because i need a pattern to use in my design as the circular area here because i don't want to just use a simple ellipse shape here that is why i am making this pattern here now if i select everything in this go to my brush panel you can see i have already added those brushes but i am going to show you again so we have to select pattern brush here and then if we click ok it will show something like this you don't need to make any changes here just click ok ok so this is now my pattern brush i am keeping this side ok now i need to make my circle here so when my circle is ready if i just select my circle and click on this pattern here it will ok this one is my pattern we need to just make some adjustment here like this one is too much bigger so ok not that one this is my new pattern brush i have to click on this one ok so when we are clicking on this pattern brush you can see it is creating a pattern here and the length of my brush was this so it will not cover the entire ellipse so it is making two brush to cover the whole ellipse here ok that is good for me now i am going to just expand them because i don't need those effect here so i am making it a group ok now this is my skull here i am going to use this one i am just placing it center wise like this ok that is ok for me i am just going to show you guys some effect here just some simple shapes so that you can use them in your design 
this is going to be my flower here i am putting this flower here because i don't want these open areas to be visible so that's why i am putting it like this and like this okay this will work for me now you can see i have a plan of putting this knife here okay let me just make them one by one if i just select these two rows here i am going to use my offset path tool in a bit bigger size so 20 point is okay for me merge unite that will make it a complete single shape if i cut that and select my this group here just in front that will fill this area now you can see i have some missing parts area here so i am just going to use my pen tool here okay not here i need to get out of from my transparency panel so that is okay for me now i have to double click here into this pattern area so i can use my pen tool here like this one here just to i don't need to make it very perfect just i am going to cover this area from here so that will work for me okay if i just click here just like this okay so just this area i don't want them to be open so that's why i am doing this so maybe i can just simply select my curvature tool here that will make it better than pen tool so i need to do another part here so i am going to okay whenever we are using this curvature tool it will we need to press esc on keyboard because it is automatically it selects automatically so i am just selecting this one here not that one from this area just to make this round here okay so that is now filled as you can see okay yes please how long okay let me just reply my okay guys so this part is done here i am just going to place this knife something like he is biting on this this skull head you may have seen different designs like this so i am just going to show you how to make this kind of designs now you can see this knife is flat so it is not looking like this is coming from that end so i need to make a adjustment here i am pressing only e on my keyboard that will give me this perspective disorder tool if i select it and if i rotate it like this something like this it will make that knife into a flat look okay now you can it is looking like he is biting on this knife so i am just going to make some adjustment here like i need to make this if i make this knife red here it will give me a, it will be easier for me to work here so i am just going to select this two this knife and my skull here using my shape builder tool now this knife should be inside should be below this upper teeth area but also above this lower teeth area so this is something i need to be careful about when making this kind of designs okay guys so this will take some time let me just make it and i will come back after that okay so that would take a really long time so i am going to apply another trick here just making a offset path for my knife like this okay now if i cut this one select my skull here open transparency panel and paste in front so as you can see this is not completely black here but i don't need to make it complete black right now because i am going to erase some of these areas like this area here i am i want to open this teeth area 
like this so that will be easier now this is just to show you how to modify vector how to work with vectors because editing and modifying vectors are not really easy but if you know how to do it you can really make some good designs okay now this upper teeth area is visible so now i can make it complete black and the other part will be invisible so when i am making this part i need to make these areas i need to fill this area so that nothing is visible inside this knife if i come to my this layer here select my knife and if i make it black it will look good i just need to fix a little area here like if i select this knife area here you can see this area is okay that is not necessary because it is already looking like this teeth is on top of knife and this teeth is below the knife so that is what i wanted to make here now if i select this two make them a group they will be group now i am selecting my group again to make offset path for them yes that is good for me now i need to merge and unite them to make a complete black shape now cut selecting my this group here paste in front and that will give me this cut out look from that area okay so this is almost my design is done i am just going to make them a group here and again i just want to make another shape here like this too if i make them a group then click on my rotation tool and click alt on my keyboard and press here click here okay if i just make it like this make a copy then duplicating them okay so as you can see it is now completely a circle it is looking like a sun ray effect or like this something so i am going to make them a round cap and now i need to just make some changes here like if i select my eraser tool here to just erase some random lines because this is what sun rays look like okay that will not work i need to it will take some time okay so this is my sun effect is ready here i am making them a group and this all of this in a separate group and i am placing them together like this and then centerizing them now if i select my this group here make it a little bit bigger like this maybe okay now i need to make it stand out so i am going to make a offset path for the whole design here okay in a bit bigger size like this okay that will work for me now i need to make them unite because i want a complete single shape but when i am uniting them you can see it becomes a, a stroke here but i need it in fill mode so i am going to convert that by pressing shift x and if i just cut this select this sun group here open transparency just in front okay now you can see this is not looking exactly same but i can simply fix that if i merge them and unite them it will be fixed but this area you can see this area is almost gone but i want some effect here like this area this sun ray to stay there so i am not going to do that i am simply merging them now i need to do that manually it will take some time but it will keep my design in that same style like as i want them so i am using this shape builder tool here okay so it will also take some time okay so that part is done here like you can see this is now looking good because this area is still here so i am just going to maybe just select this group here and make them a bit smaller than they are already 
they already are so this is now my final design guys i can simply add some colors here but before that i need to expand everything here because some of them are in fill mode some of them are in stroke mode you can see each and everything is in one color okay so now let me just add some colors here okay guys so coloring this will take a lot more time so i am going to do that offline so this is now my final design as you can see this is how this kind of premium designs are made those who can draw they draw them and those who cannot draw like us or like me they can use different vectors to make a unique design from that so this is just to show you how to modify vectors how to make different how to make custom shapes to use in your design so that's all for today guys see you in the next video have a great time thank you